Um, hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome back to the the fourth episode of my Let's Play of the of Europe Universalis as Arabia. We were the Mamluks, now we're Arabia, and our mission in this video is going to beat the be beating the shit out of Hejaz. We have a truce with them until 1941, unfortunately. Oh my God, 1991? Are you kidding me? That's like so long and so stupidly far away. Hajaz, at least they're going to give us military access, because we, we're going to go and declare war on, like, Hassa and stuff. Um, that really sucks, though, because they got released from us, but they we still have cores in them for forever, but it's going to be such a pain in the balls, really. Like, this is, like, the worst thing that possibly could have happened. Uh... Okay, I'm over it. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. We need to build some more troops, I believe. Uh, we have an 8,000-man army. Uh, we could definitely use more than that. Uh, okay, so let's see. Not Hajaz. Uh, let's build some more troops here. We have enough... To, uh, s no, no, no. Do we still have to pay off any more loans? Okay, good. No, we're out of actually done paying off our loans. Fantastic. So let's build two more units. And I'm very afraid of fighting the Ottomans. I'm very afraid that we're going to have to fight the Ottomans soon. So let's try to avoid that. But ugh, Hajaz is such a blight on my lands. Do we have we have claims still correct on things like Karakoinlu and stuff? Okay, so maybe we'll fight Karakoinlu, then the Hasa, Yemen, and Oman. We have claims on them. Do we have any claims anywhere else? Quick question. Uh, no, actually. So yeah, this is pretty much where we're gonna want to focus our time for the being. Hassa has is what two base tax? Okay, so that that'll be nothing, especially with two claims. So let's go over there and just kill them quickly. Oh, they're allied with Yemen and Karakoinlu. Okay, well then, never mind. Fuck that. Because I I don't want to fight Karakoinlu right now, even though they're probably pretty weak. QQ, where are you? I thought I saw Q. Element OP. Yeah, there we go. Karakoin Lu has 14k right now, and they're nomads, so we might be able to beat them, but I don't really want to try, try and test that now. So let's not. Alright, we have our armies together now. Are we still reinforcing? Having issues with that? No. We can do another trade idea. Which will give us extra trade range. Do we want to do that? Do we want to get this? I guess. Uh, how are we on Diplo Tech? We've teched up one time, so let's do this just for the hell of it. Because it's going to give us a bunch more trade range and trade power and trade, 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 everything. So let's see, I bet you our trade range is like ridiculous now. We can reach all the way to Indus, which is cool. And this gave us more global trade power, so we'll be able to hopefully put our fist down a little bit more and collect more trade. Austria, I think, just declared war on... Oh, God. Poor, poor, poor people over here. France is, I think, getting eaten alive. Let's take a look at their Diplo mode. Oh, yeah, they're done. Even with Hungary's help, I think they're going to probably lose this war. They're at zero still, but... That's that's yet to... It's yet to see be seen how that's going to go. Fucking hate you, Array Hejaz. I hate you so. I hate them so much. I want to break the truce so bad, but I won't. So we have a thirty force limit. So I think what we're gonna want to end up with is like seven cavalry and then the rest infantry. So let's let's build two cav right now. We have a peasant war that could happen to us because we have less than our recommended amount of manpower. I wonder what Hejaz's army is at right now. I wish you could click on them and bring them up in the ledger, but unfortunately you can't. Why is this not sorting? Element OP, H I J K Hedges right here. Okay, so they have a total of 6,000, but their force limit is 9, so that's actually not that bad. I was kind of afraid that it would be way worse. 
So now, just just for those of you that weren't here in the last episode, we owned all of Hajez. Hajez broke out from us from having this one itty bitty itty. They had they had Bahrain sieged over here, and that's it. That's how they got free. They got free just by having only Bahrain sieged. We killed the rebel stack. I just forgot to unseize this one province, and then that fucking just that was terrible. That that that's what let them free for eternity. Now they're free forever. Those bastards. I hate them so much. Ooh. Bahooty, booty nationalists over there. Okay. Well, at least there's no unrest right now. Uh, but and then they're, they're never going to convert those things. So we need to get some more uh, piety because it's going to give us better missionary strength. I guess I'll lose the stability and just boost it back up. Uh, we're going to stick at zero for the time being. Just because we need our points to do things with them. Are we making any money now for trade? We are pretty much. Total cl trade collapse. Oh yeah, that's that shit's still on us. But then we'll have plus 30 once that's over. So that's that's great, actually. 30% increase. When's trade collapse over? 81. So only one more year on that shit. And that's good. We've taken the title uh, Wiz Khalifa. So that gives us another 0.5 prestige per month, which is pretty cool. And we have a decision here that once we westernize, we can t uh, change to administrative monarchy from the ICTA that we currently are. So what do we actually need to unify Islam? I wish there was a button that would highlight all the shit that's uh, Islam. Oh well, well, we'll see. So what does it actually give us? A bunch of stability co- oh wow, we unified Islam until the end of the game. Missionary strength, tolerance of the heretics, and we lose all this shit. That's fine, though. I mean, look at that. Stability cost minus 20%. That's great. Until the end of the game, too. And I mean... What's our thing? Oh, we want to get religious unity. Yeah, that's not going to happen, unfortunately. We could probably declare war on QQ. If we declare war on QQ, that means that all their allies are coming again. If we declare war on Hassa, On Hassa, Then they're going to call Karakoinlu in Yemen, but only as a uh, non... Non. They're gonna call Yemen as a non coal belligerent. How much does Yemen have? Because that's the only thing. They have 14k up here in Karakoinlu, and then Yemen, what do they have? It'll be easy to find Yemen, though, because we just go to the bottom here. Yemen has 7,000 total. Okay, so that's not that bad. Alright, let's go to Hejaz. Let's, let's go declare war on Hassa then. Actually, let's get our troops over there first. Do we want our troops over there, or do we want them in. It depends on whether or not Hejaz will give them access. Hejaz really hates Hassa. So does Kar and Karakwinli really hates them as well. So let's uh, let's finish off building our force limit, let our manpower recover a little bit more, and then we'll go and attack. How about that? All right. So we currently have six. So let's build one more unit of it. Actually, not right there. I want it over here. We're gonna have a secondary army. All right. So we're gonna build another. So we have seven. And then now we have 13 units, so we need to build 10. Perfect. So we'll have a secondary army down here. And then that, that I think, then we'll be good to go for, for fight. Once that's built and our our uh, manpower recovers a bit, we, we should be golden. So let's all stand here on the other side of uh, Sinai. All right, good. So we should be at our force limit. Fantastic. How about our naval force limit? How are we doing on that? Let's get some, let's get our ships over here. I don't think. Why do we need transports? We don't need to land anywhere. So I think we're gonna disband this unit. We especially didn't need those carracks. So go back to protecting trade in Alexandria, and I think we're gonna use this extra money that we're saving that we're saving now uh, to build more barks. Because we could build up to, we need to have our force limit of those. Because we're going to be relying on trade to be a good part of our income. What do we get the bonuses for being an Ibdik or what, or Equita? 100% chance of air, income from vassals, and monthly autonomy. That's pretty. Actually, that's actually really good. So we might, we might. So it's, that that definitely takes the you know coal out from under my ass from. 
me think I thought we would want to switch more. Morale of armies went down, unfortunately. Oh, well, what are we doing with this guy? He's improving relations over here. Uh, let's go ahead and annex him. Well, he's our only vassal because there's nothing really. I would as much as I want to feed him stuff over here. Um, Tunisia, fuck. Tunisia's only allied to Morocco. We have to fight Tunisia, which has they have like eleven thousand troops and they're our allies. So I don't. I think we're just gonna annex these guys here. Because it should only take like a few, a few, like a year maybe max. Because we're already, we get like a gazillion points per month. Yeah, it's like 8% per month, so we're going to be done very quickly. So let's gain some piety. Piety? I don't know. Somebody was trying to tell me in the comments that it was piety. And I don't think so. I mean, piety, piety, it's potato, potato, man. Come on. You can pronounce it whatever way you like, I think. But that's just me. Oman declared war on Hejaz. They better not lose any of my fucking cores. Well, actually, if they did, that'd be nice because then we didn't have to worry about. We want if they lose some cores, that'd be great because then we could annex them in one go and then go to war with Oman right after and get back all of our cores from Oman. Uh, so no big whoop there. If that's possible, that'd be great. We don't need both our diplomats over on uh, Pheasant though. We can let them go. Let it go, let it go. What's the, uh, what's, I, I wouldn't mind having a vassal down here, so what's the total war score cost of these guys? 82%, so we could probably vassalize them. Ethiopia, my god, you have so many provinces. Jesus, that's a huge, Ethiopia is huge. Oh god, what happened to our name? It's so squooshed. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Uh, did we even get three more force limit? No, we didn't get any force limit extra. So let's uh, let's disband these units. We don't need them. Uh, these three guys, we're gonna have them go and help patrol trade in Alexandria, so we can you know put the lock on more of our trade over there. We're gonna get four more ships too. How's the trade over here? 33%? What is this bullshit? How do we have such little trade? Venice, get your ass out of here. I hate them. I hate that they took Cyprus so much. I just want them to die so, so much. Ugh. Get out of my freaking trade node, biatch. Oh, well, it'll be easier to take Crete and Venice from... Or, yeah, Crete and Cyprus, rather, from Venice than it will be to take from uh, Ottomans. So I'm kind of glad that that's happening. Ooh, the Ottomans are at war with... Oh shit, they're getting... Oh my god, that's so many, so much war right there in that one little thing. And uh, what is going on over here? What happened? Crimean Conquest of Genoa. Ooh, that is obviously going to not end up well for... Uh, it looks like the Ottomans are going to get smacked. That's great. I love that the Ottomans are getting smacked. Makes me happy. Alright, let's, uh, let's get these guys out to pasture. There we go. So our current heir is going to die. So we're going to either lose stability or prestige. I think I'd rather lose prestige. Um, was our current heir anything? No, he sucked anyways. Okay, we got an even shittier heir. That's great. We can do another uh, military tech, which is great. Um, sweet, we're eight years ahead. That's awesome. And we can also build some... Uh, well, we're at our force limit, but we do have the opportunity to have uh, artillery. However, this artillery, the cast mortar, is not that great. So it's not really worth it at this point. So we don't have to worry too much. I think we might go and take some Sunni shit from them after, as we also take Hassa. Uh, how's our manpower? We're not at our maximum yet, but we're getting there. Which is good. Uh, I'll take the prestige, please. 
How's our trade network over here? 36%. That's good. Our, so we're working on it. The more ships we go add to this mix, the better it gets. I don't understand how we can have only 37% here, but we have 38 here, and it's like, this isn't even our home node, you bastards. GTF GTFO my Egypt. Alright, we're gonna get the trade efficiency increased as well. I don't think Arabia has, Arabia nor Egypt has their own ideas, so uh, we're going to be having these Mamluk ideas for the rest of the game. So that's kind of nice that we we're not going to have to worry about thinking or figuring out what new ideas we have. Uh, Ottomans, let's increase relations with them. Did we, did we rival them? Why can't I change it? Oh, you need to have 100 Diplo power to change a rival? Holy shit, that's a lot. F that. I'm not taking the Ottomans off now until they die. Okay, they're winning against Oman, which is bad. They're also fighting Karakoyim. But Yemen and Karakoyim will still come even if... Aww. Oh well. Alright, let's go send this army down here. Um... So are they fighting, it suggests fighting Yemen? No, okay, so it's possible that they still will refuse military access. All right, now uh, do we have a general over here? All right, we have a shitty ass general. A one star, hooray. All right, let's declare war to take uh, Katif or whatever. Are you fucking kidding me? Do we really lose our military access? No. Okay, that's some stupid shit. Uh, what is this? Shrave? Why is Shravan in Georgia in this war? Why am I fighting? Is Georgia their vassal? Oh. Okay. Alright, I guess that's fair. Alright, let's stay away from that army. That's unfortunate. I should have just declared war on QQ if I wanted to do that. So they're going to get there on the 18th of September. We're not going to get out until the 20th. 17th. All right, good. We'll get that the day before. All right, where are they going? They're going to Yarbrin. And somebody's going to Q Q-tip. Q-queef. Anyways, let's, let's merge our troops down here. They're both going to Yabrin now. Now they're going to Qatar. So they're going to get there on the 15th. Can we get to this one? Why Why is it not letting me go to Bahrain? Oh, because there's a blockade. Okay. Um, so I guess we're going to have to duke it out. I doubt we're going to get there in time. So that sucks. Um... Maybe if we roll good, we'll be able to win. I don't know. Probably not. Can I retreat to here? No, it's going to make me retreat really far. Fuck that. Where are we going? Alright, well, whatever. I'll just regroup and... Uh, let's see what we can do down here, maybe. Why am I taking so much attrition? Holy shit. Fuck, I hate that it's... Don't you go that way, you dumb fuck. Oh my god. This game, <laughs> so, so much rage, so little time. All right, we got our Ottomans topped off. That's good. Uh, how's Poland? They still think we're nothing. <sighs> oh, well. Um... All right, we can stop taking attrition now, thank God. All right, let's start moving in then on the uh, the QQ. We're gonna go and attack uh, Sherevan and uh, and QQ up here. 
7.6 fucking attrition? Are you shitting me? Oh god, oh god, oh Jesus. Ah, <sighs> shit! Oh shit, we're gonna lose this battle. Oh, oh god, this is so fucking annoying. I. Oh, god damn it. I really am really pissed now because we just fucking just wasted all of our manpower. Our manpower is just wasted. We're gonna have to go take a gazillion loans again just to beat this these fuckers. And we can't even take out a good loan anymore because. Oh man. So pissed. Alright, let's split up here. Uh, can we, can we hire some mercs now? Thank you. No, are you serious? Still need more? Fine, I'll take another loan. Don't tell me what to do. Alright, so we're gonna hire a shit ton of mercenaries. They're all stacked here? Are you serious? Do you not understand you're in a different war? Must you fight me? Only? Selectively? Why? Why, game? Why must you selectively try to destroy me? Invade the player, not the AI. That makes sense. Alright, we need an advisor. Let's get the better relations over time guy. For the shits and giggles. Alright. Let's send those guys to go start sieging. Maybe we can uh, lure... Lure this army out. Okay, so together now we have 32,000 troops, so that's not even enough to fucking challenge them. I don't even know why I moved my troops in then, because they're just going to get killed. What did I? What am I even thinking? And I don't know why the AI never takes attrition. Uh, I guess I could split this. Let's split this in half and send some guys down to to here just to um, take over to try and siege here because this is the war goal if we can take that then maybe we'll uh, even the score or at least get them why I can't believe they're reinforcing that's just sick it disgusts me that they're reinforcing All right, we're going to kill this army down here for our first victory. Oh god. Oh shit. Uh, we're going to lose this, aren't we? Please, please make it. Please make it and not on the day. Okay. At least we made it. All right, so we can send these stupid Georgians running. Alright, uh, are you just going to sit there and siege over here, Kara Coinlu? Okay, I guess that's alright. Alright, so let's try and siege now a little bit. With our uh, mercenaries that we're paying all this money for. Alright, we did our admin tech. That's nice, I guess. Let's go siege here, see if we can't get them to move. What happens if we go and attack here? Are they going to come and attack us? If I just sit here and siege? No? Good. Okay, good. Yay, they're being merciful for once. Oh my god, are you fucking me? Every time I turn around... Oh, and they didn't get- they didn't even get any, uh, any negative modifiers? That sucks. Let's see, where are these guys going? Maybe we can chase them down. No, actually, but we did break them pretty good. How much troops do they have still? Oh my god, why do they still have so many troops? 
Yemen. Oh, that's actually not too super bad. Karkoinlu. Only if says... Oh, these armies don't... Yeah, I forgot about this one. Let's go take that out. Um, let's gain the mercantilism. I want to change to my king, because my king is actually a pretty badass general. So we're going to use him. Uh, yeah, that's going to probably do way better than earlier. And uh, we can cut down... Yeah, we just killed a lot of their troops. That's great. Alright, so we just need to keep an eye on this guy because uh, he's kind of alone now. Alright, let's 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 send them down here now that they uh, finished that. Alright, good. So we're going to full annex that and then I'm going to try to unit link up my lands over here. Okay. And uh, what's their army size now? It should be way less. Wow, no, it's still 24,000. That's a lot. Okay, so let's let's see if we can't unsiege that. We're not taking any attrition here, which is great. We keep automatically taking loans, unfortunately, but that's just hey, you know what? That's how it's gonna be. Um, they're gonna go and attack Barasa, or they were gonna attack Barasa. That's fine. They won't now. Uh, that's the only one we can afford, so we are forced to take him. Oh, wow, that's actually a lot of troops over there, but whatever, we're going to get the target province, and we're going to have a 100% war score against the war leader, so uh, fuck them, and uh, fuck their mom. Let's see if we can't get them to uh, make a mistake or something, and leave us alone. It uh, looks like they're going to go and attack Hajez, which is nice for us. Are they going to attack? Yeah, they're going to go and attack Barasa. Perfect. Now let's go and attack here. Oh, no. Never mind. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Look at that. They uh, just killed themselves in that army because uh, I guess their vassal decided that that was a stupid idea. Let's not attack there. Ooh, look at that. Another merchant. All right. And uh, military access. Sure, Hajaz, you can have military access. Why not? All right. And then we can start winning our war. Hooray. Uh, let's get our mercenaries. Let's have them go uh, split up and uh, siege these two. And then we'll just have our army ready to go and reinforce whoever. The war goal is ours. Fantastic. We can send these uh, 6,000 mercs to come help. Alright, we're taking a bunch of loans. That's okay though. Uh, fuck you, Hajez. <laughs> you owe all my shit. All right, we we repaid a loan. Um, we're gonna send more troops in here to this fight. Sweet, we got there just in time. And it looks like there's gonna be some Iraqi nationalists. Yay! Go Iraq. We're gonna drop a siege and just go and kill there. Let's see. They still have twenty-five thousand units. I don't know <laughs> exactly where those are, but whatever. We're gonna kill four thousand of them. They're going to go to Baghdad. Unfortunately, I think they're going to try to squish my army here. Uh, Alright, let's do that. Alright, I think I'm just going to disband this unit. When are they going to get there? February 10th? Okay, so tomorrow. Okay, now they're headed back to Baghdad. Alright, we're going to go and kill them then. All right, did we uh, did we full siege them? Yes. Okay, so we can get these uh, this army up here to help us then. All right, those guys are gonna go there, and we're gonna go up here. We're gonna drop the mercenaries and uh, go and attack this three thousand unit. Where are these guys going to Mosul? Okay, we can send some home. Uh, we're at 100% war score, so uh, full annexation, we'll take that. Uh, actually, yeah, that's all we're going to be able to get, really. Unfortunately, for this time. 
Uh, let's, so let's go here and uh, disband all our mercs. Alright, and we can actually convert some of these now. Uh, I'm going to put the cores down first because it's, it's really cheap. It costs like nothing to core them. Um, and then actually I'm going to let them be free. Uh, not by free, I, I mean, uh, oh wow, we can't actually raise the autonomy in there. Hmm, and then are we going to be able to, yeah, we can actually, I think. Uh, you know what? Never mind. We're just going to have to pray that they don't have a, well, we can get there because we have military access, so that's fine. All right, everybody here. All right, no more mercs. All right, and I'm going to consolidate regiments. So we don't have to reinforce anybody. Alright, and then I guess we could start that conversion, but that's gonna suck if uh, they revolt. Oh well, there's no there's no unrest, so never mind, they're not gonna revolt. Yay, no revolt. Anyways, guys, that's gonna about do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Spray and pray out. We're gonna go ahead and assign ourselves uh, our, our guy real fast though. Alright, so the Ethiopia node all feeds towards us? Yeah, so there's no there's no other way about it, so and it starts in Ethiopia, so it goes straight to us. So is there any other node that we want to change which direction it's going? Because I'm pretty sure, like, for instance, this node feeds here, so there's no... And even if it's going up here, it doesn't really matter. We just don't want it to go down. So is there any other nodes that are steering towards us? That could be steering better. Not really, so like this has to go there. Maybe back here. But everything's already going in the right place anyways. Is there anything going uh, the wrong way here? No. So <laughs> we have no use really for this guy. Whatever. We'll just have him make sure that nothing goes uh, the wrong way up there. There's some Iraqi nationalists here now, really? Oh. I hope we don't take attrition on the way. That's going to make me sad. Uh, do we have our boats done yet? No, I think we still need to build a bunch more barks. After that, we're going to start building manpower buildings. Our king is a really good general, though, compared to the one that we got by, uh, random. Alright, so that's done. Oh, god. Why? My poor manpower all the time is going away. Uh... What? Oh, it's just Baghdad? Oh, that sucks. Baghdad is our, like, my favorite province. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, like I said, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you guys next time.